Here are a list of eight all natural moisturizers. Rate their effectiveness from a rating of one to 10, 10 being the best, one being the worst rating, and why you would or wouldn't recommend each one. All right, so for honey, I would say an eight. Coconut oil is a seven. Olive oil is a six. Aloe is a six. Avocado oil is a 10. Sunflower seed oil, six. Crushed cucumber, six. And yogurt, five. I would recommend a mixture of the honey and avocado oil. You know, the problem is honey sometimes is a little sticky. So if we're gonna choose one of these, I would go with avocado oil. Aloe, recently, it's great for some of its soothing properties, but it can also dry out some of the skin. So it's a great adjunct. Coconut oil is great for the body, but when you use it on the face, it tends to be comedogenic. So it can plug some of the pores. Crushed cucumber, same thing as crushed fruit, although it's lower in sugar content. I don't know that it's gonna do a whole lot. It will help hydrate a little bit. Yogurt's great for some of its antifungal, antibacterial properties, but I think it would be used as a mixture with something else. One way to assess a moisturizer is if you place the moisturizer on your skin and 10 minutes later, it feels greasy. A good moisturizer will do the opposite. For anyone looking to upgrade their moisturizer to something more effective, how would you describe the differences between our stem cell moisturizer and our Lift and Firm Sculpting Cream? Two completely different things. The Lift and Firm Sculpting Cream is really used to help tighten skin. So you have ingredients such as progeroline, Lift Essence, Sculpt Essence. They smooth and add a filler type outcome, creating more supple, firm skin. Our stem cell moisturizer is really there to keep the skin as moist as it possibly can. Is even a bad moisturizer better than no moisturizer at all? This is a trick question because it depends on skin type. If you have oily skin and you're using a bad moisturizer, which is very heavy in silicone, you'll actually lead to more breakouts and a worse complexion. 